Hello and welcome back to the channel. As we continue on this series on Lanos Command Land Tutorial for Beginner, I will open my Lanos Terminal and we will continue from where we left off in our previous episode. We will begin today's episode by looking at the input and output redirection. By default in Lanos, when you type a command in the terminal and you press enter, the output of that command is displayed within the terminal. So with the input output redirection, instead of displaying the output of the command within the terminal, we will take the output of the command and redirect it to a file. We will take a look at several examples to see how the input and output redirection works. For example, if we type in the terminal ls minus l and press enter, this will display a long list of the present working directory. Instead of displaying the output of the ls-l command within the terminal, we can redirect that output to a file. To demonstrate that, we will use ls-l space. We use a greater than sign, which is for input output redirection. And then we put the name of a file that we want to redirect the output to. So in this case, we can name this file listcontent.txt. When we press enter, you will notice that the ls-l command did not display an output within the terminal. So to view the content of the file, we will use our cat command and put the name of the file. And when we press enter, now we see the content of the file. The file now has the output of the ls-l command. To clear our Lanos terminal, we will use the command clear and we press enter and that will clear the terminal for us. In order to take a look at another example, I will use this time to create two files. So the first file will be nano space months.txt and I will press enter and I will just type in the months of the year. And now I'll press Control or Command X to exit, and I'll just put Y to save. To create the next file, I will simply put in the nano command. So I'll put nano and press enter. It will open a blank file, and I'll just type the days of the week. After, I will press Control or Command X, and then ask me to save, I'll put Y. And I will put the name of the file. So I'll put days.txt and I'll press enter. So when I do ls minus l, we have two files that were created. We have a file with the days of the week and then we have a file with the months of the year. The next thing to do will be to display the content of both files. So I will put cat days.txt, press enter and will display the days of the week. I will use clear to clear my terminal and I'll put cat and put months.txt and press enter. It display the months of the year. Another thing we can do is merge the content of both files. In order to do that, we will use cat space, the name of the first file, days.txt, space, greater than sign, and the name of the second file, months.txt. And when we press enter, so what this command did was, it took the content of days.txt and put it within this file, months.txt. So let us display the content of months.txt to see what the content is. So we'll put cat space months.txt and we'll press enter. We will notice that the months of the year were replaced by the days of the week. What if we didn't want to overwrite the content of the months file, but we wanted to simply merge the content of the days file with the content of the months file. That brings us to the next option of the input output redirection, which is the append. In order to look at the append option for the input output redirection, I will go back into the months file and just replace the days of the week with the months of the year. And then we will take a look at how we can append both files. So I'll use the nano command months.txt, go in there, 
and just put in the months of the year. Now that is done, I will take a look at the content of the months file. Press enter, so we have the months of the year. In order to append the content of the days file into the months file without overwriting the content of the months file, we will use cat space days dot tst space and then we'll use double greater than and we'll use months dot tst. And when you press enter, because we use the double greater than symbol, it would just append the content of the days file into the content of the months file. So if we take a look at the months dot tst and press enter, we would notice that it has the months of the year and the days of the week. The input output redirection can become a handy tool for you if you want to collect logs from the system. So let's say we want to take a look at the sys log, but we need to have that saved into a file and use in a report. Instead of using cat space slash var slash log slash sys log to display the content of the sys log within the terminal, we can take that output and just redirect it into a file. So we can say syslog report.tst and when we press enter, we can clear the string and then when we do more syslog report and then we now have the syslog report saved within that file and you can just copy that file and use it in your report. The next command we'll look at is the move command. The move command can be used to either move a file or a directory from one location to another, or it could be used to rename a file or a directory. So we'll take a look at a few examples of how we can do both of those. I will begin by listing the content of my present working directory by using the ls minus l and press enter. So I have this file called days. If I want to rename this file, I can simply use the move command, which is mv space, the name of the file, space, and then the, the new name of the file. And then when I press enter and do ls minus l, I now have that file has been renamed to new days dot tst. So once you move the file within the same location, Basically, you are renaming the file. The next thing is to move that file from one location to another. So I'll use the MV, put the name of the file, and then put the location. And when I press enter, now that file has been moved to that location. The ls minus l command on the absolute path to the user downloads directory shows us that the file has been moved there. So we can see the file new days dot tst. So if we do ls minus l of the present working directory, we would notice that the file is no more in this location. Next, we can create a directory and also use the mv command to rename the directory and also to move the directory. So it's pretty much done the same way like we did with the file. So I will create a new directory and press enter. I will use ls minus l and we have that directory here. So to rename that directory, I'll use mv space, the name of the directory, and the new name of the directory. And then when you press enter, and when you do ls minus l, you will notice that the directory has been renamed. In order to move it to another location, you do mv space, the name of the directory, and then you can put the absolute path to where you want to move the directory to. And that directory has been moved. We'll do ls minus l. The, the directory is no more here. And we'll run the ls minus l on that location. We notice that the directory has been removed. As we bring this episode to an end, let us look at two more commands. 
The first comment we will use is the date comment. And when we press enter, it will show us the current date. The last comment we'll look at today is the history command. The history command is used to show a history of all the commands that we have used on our system. So if I type in the word history and press enter, it will show us all the commands that we have been using. This is a nice way to check the system and see a list of all the commands that we have been using in the past. We can also use the history with a number. So let's say history space and we put the number 15 and press enter. It will show us the last 15 commands. So with the history command, we bring an end to this episode. And in our next episode, we will look at other Lana's commands. So thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, share the video with someone that will find this content useful. But without further ado, take care. Bye for now.